Hey, I'm Jesus Christ, and I'm back. And I'm here to talk to, I guess, the youth or anyone who wants to listen, but I'd say the, the youth especially. I want to tell you some things about your, about yourself that I learned about myself and I'm still learning. Like, I'm not the same person that I was when I was 18 or 15 or 8 or 12 or 9 <clears throat> or 30. It's been a constant learning curve as I got older. There's some really dark times where I crumbled, all my worst fears came true. For example, like I said, I was afraid that I wasn't good enough. I was, afraid, I was afraid my penis was too small. I was afraid I was ugly, dorky, stupid. I, I, I kind of felt almost like girly, like I wasn't masculine enough. I was afraid my girlfriend would cheat on me. And all those fears came true and I crumbled. I actually turned gay for 20 years. I'm not anymore. Something happened to me that broke my heart so bad that damaged me, that kind of pushed me over the edge. My worst fears came true. But uh, as I've gone on through the years discovering myself, I remember in my early days, people said, Chris, you're smart, man. You are smart. And I didn't even know it. I didn't believe them. And a girl, I, girl I, sometimes the girls would like me. And I was like, I didn't think I was good enough. I thought I was an ugly dork. But I wasn't. I didn't know the girls liked me. I didn't know this. I didn't know that I was smart. I didn't know that I was strong. I was, I was, I was one of the girls, the dudes, that, uh, the guy, the kids at this, say dudes, in high school, let's say, that girls liked. I think I was one of the ones that a lot of the girls liked. I never knew it. They never told me. So I'm telling this for you, for you guys, the dudes. There's, you know, you, you might get a sense of this. You might have some girls. You find out girls like you. Maybe you don't like them. That you're not, right, you're not your right one. But look at the ones that are around you that are close that you think are fucking beautiful. But make sure that you think they're good too. But like, the girls that are around you, you think are really pretty. I'm telling you this, man. When you are really attracted to a girl, she's probably attracted to you, man. So like, you, that you may never think see it, see it as visible. You might think there's no way this girl could like me. But I'm telling you. The feeling is mutual for some reason. I don't know why the other girls that liked me, I didn't like them. But I'm telling you, some of the girls that I, that I really was attracted to were probably attracted to me, and I didn't know it. I didn't know this about myself. This is for men, I guess, more than women, is this video. They're, so, like, you realize this. You might be sitting in class, there's some girl. That, make sure she's nice, by the way. You can tell she's a kind person. You think she's really pretty. Dude, I'm telling you, and you think she's fucking beautiful. Maybe I'll never date her, but I'm telling you the feeling is mutual. She's probably attracted to you, and she'll never tell you. And you're probably smarter than you think. And more of my story, in high school, I started playing bass briefly at 15, and I was in this band, and I thought I sucked, man. I thought I sucked as a musician. I did, though. I wasn't very good. But at, at my band, we, we went on our high school quad. Which, you know what a quad is. In the center of my high school, there's a stage on it. One, one day at lunch, my band took the entire lunch, it was a battle of the bands. There's like three bands in one week, and each each about each each lunch it was a half hour. One band would play for thirty minutes. So one day my band played, and there's another band called Lemon Tree. There's another band I don't know what they're called, but like something was going on because I think secretly like the music the other kids like knew something was going on in me, like they knew something about me that I didn't know as a musician. I'll fast forward years years later. Metallica rolled up me. I think they want to use me. I'm engaged to Christian singer Lauren Daigle. So consider that. Well, I'll go back here. So like in high school, like, th these guys were like systematically trying to sneak sneak around and take shots at my friend Derek and, and hurt his feelings. And they're trying to hire people. They, you know, they're they're hiring 20 year old dudes that my, my a future girlfriend was gonna like their sister boyfriend or something. They're trying to make me. They're trying to out, like kill us. Like they knew something was going on with me and, and my band. I think it was me, and I never knew it. They were trying to sabotage us, and my band did not win the Battle of the Bands because Mr. Joe Cools, the, the popular in-crowd guys, won, won the fucking contest. And I'll tell you what, they're, they're a bunch of cheesers, cocky little cheesers. But, like, and my band was called Them, T-H-E-M, T-H-E-M, Them. But, uh, and I'm, I'm speaking to you. You, you. If you're a kid, you're a dude. I'm telling you, man, you're not dumb like you think you are, and, and, and there's probably a lot more girls that like you than you realize. And it's usually the ones that are that you're really attracted to that are pretty. They probably feel the same about you. you you'll never date them, maybe. There's a good likelihood you'll never date them. But I'm telling you, they're feeling the same way towards you. And, uh, and I'm getting lost here. 
And so years go by and you might not even see yourself. Here's another interesting thing I'm learning today. Imagine that we are spirits because we really are. And we have a physical body, which is an out, outer surface of our spirit, which is like a, it's like the skin of our spirit. It's the skin of our spirit. It's expression of our spirit. And imagine that beauty is in the eye of the beholder and God can also do magic things like he can put a, a, a mask over our eyes so we don't see what we actually look like. Like, like say you actually look like a 10 to other people. You physically literally appear as a 10, a 10 on a scale of one. To, you, you appear as a 10 to other people around you. But God can, can use your mind and, 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 and put an image in front of you if you're your own eyes. So you see yourself as a 6 or a 5 or a 7 or whatever, you know, anything. God can actually cover your own eyes so you don't see what you actually look like to yourself. He can literally put a veil over yourself towards yourself. So all the people around you might see you as this beautiful, or some of the people, not all, might see you as this fucking just goddamn gorgeous, beautiful thing. And God can actually blind you to it. You'll never know it. So I want you to know that about your physical appearance, man, out there. And this is the women too, okay? But for some reason, I think I need to speak to men because I think this happened to me. I might not actually physically see myself now. I might, might be more beautiful than I think. And, and an example of this is a couple minutes ago, I posted a video and I was speaking how I love myself and find myself beautiful. And when I was saying that, I was looking in the camera and I physically found myself beautiful. More beautiful than I've ever felt myself in a long time. I felt, I saw myself literally as, as beautiful with my eyes. Then a couple minutes later, once the video uploaded, I went and watched it back. I looked at myself and I was like, well, Chris, you're kind of ugly. You don't look that beautiful. That is, an, that is a, just a hint that God literally will do that. He can blind us to what we're actually seeing. We can see people around us. But we can't see ourselves sometimes. Sometimes they'll let us see ourselves. Sometimes they won't. So you might be way more beautiful than you think. Physically, literally, but God will put a, a shield over you so you can't see what you look like. I think this is possible. I can't prove this, but I'm telling you, it's like, a, I think it's possible, man. So beauty's in the eye of the beholder. You never know how, just how you look through other people's eyes. Listen to the band, the Butthole Surfers. I don't remember that. It's cinnamon and sugary and softly spoken lies. You never know just how you look to other people's eyes. I don't know the name of that song, but I'm just telling you this to counsel you, man. You, and, and as you go on through your life, you're probably going to fall pretty bad and, and you lose yourself for a while. But find your faith in God. Don't let go of your heart. You might lose yourself. You could turn gay. You could be in prison. You could be in gangs. You could become a porn star, hetero, you could be a prostitute, you could become a drug dealer, but you have a heart within you that tells you something different. You might not really believe what your heart is telling you. Your heart might tell you, I'm not gay. I'm not a drug dealer. I want to do that. I want to be a police officer. I want to be a teacher or a leader, a politician, or I, I want to be a, a professional athlete. You have this dream in your heart. I want to be a musician. You, you'll feel it. But you will doubt that it's that it's real and true. But I'm telling you, this dream is in your heart for reasons who you really are, man. You may be a gangster right now. You may be gay right now. You may, you, by the way, you could be gay right now and become Don Juan. And by the way, I was gay. I'm not anymore. I'm, I'm fucking Don Juan Jr. I'm the son of God. Donald, Donald Trump, Don Juan. I'm Mr. Don Juan Jr. I'm El Juan Christo. So I'm probably not bad as a lover and I'm not gay. So I'm telling you this, my heart told me I liked women. A lot but but I was gay so just I want to tell you listen to your heart your heart's not gonna lie to you it is not deceitful above all else your mind is deceitful it'll fool you and tell you that your heart is wrong your heart is never wrong man your heart will always quietly whisper to you and tell you what you like and that that heart is like a heat-seeking missile man there's a dream in your heart a feeling in your heart things that you like go towards the things you like and feel beautiful they're like imagine your heart is like a heat-seeking missile that wants to find the target that is your dream destiny in God. Your heart is a seek, heat, heat seeking missile to call you into your destiny, man. I knew I like women. I knew I wanted to be a musician. I knew I want a daughter. I like girls. I, I want a son too, but I really want a daughter. My heart knew this even when I was lost in the darkness and, and I never completely lost sight of my heart. It, it finally pulled me into these dreams coming true. I'm still not there, but I'm on my way. I'm closer. Your heart will not lie to you, man. And realize this if, as you're a kid now, even if you're lost in the darkness, God might be putting a veil over your own eyes and you can't see yourself. You could literally be a 10 in physical appearance 
and to yourself in the mirror on camera everything appears a six or seven or lower you know you, it's amazing what god can do because we're a spirit with physical structure and our physical structure is made out of spirit god can totally put a smoke screen over us so i want you to know just believe in, in what in yourself and your beauty and your dreams and if god talks to you when he starts talking listen to him he's telling you the fucking truth if he tells you the fucking chosen one man don't he's not lying to you you might think you're crazy and you need to be on medication, psych meds. I'm telling you, no. He told me I was a chosen one. I thought I was crazy. No, he was he was telling me smaller. He didn't tell me I was fucking Jesus Christ, man. I would have fucking probably really fucking thought I was crazy. Been committed suicide or something, you know? He told me I was the chosen one to die with you. He didn't tell me I was Jesus Christ. I was not crazy. So listen to God when he starts talking to you. And you are beautiful. God might be hiding it from you. And, and men are beautiful. Masculine and beautiful. There's nothing wrong with being beautiful. There's nothing wrong with wanting to fucking slaughter someone and kill them. But don't do it. Do the right thing. God gives you reason, powers and reasons and dreams and abilities for a reason. Have a great day.